So Zap is an open source proxy tool uh, from OWASP and it's pretty much used for penetration testing and security testing of the applications and APIs. Um, today I'm going to focus on the active scanning feature specifically. I want to show you how to configure and form based authentication. Uh, maybe in the future I'll also teach you other form of authentication that you can configure using this app but today we are just going to limit ourselves to the form based authentication. Um, we'll also make sure uh, that we we uh, like you know, verify whether the authentication is actually working when the zap is scanning uh, the entire application and then we can take a brief look at like you know a review of the report as well uh, what the findings are etc but that's not like you know my main focus my main focus is how teach you guys how to configure the zap to be able to scan the full site so if you like the free content uh, please hit the thumbs up it's it immensely helps me immensely help the channel as well uh, and just gonna take a second for you guys all right so get let's get into it so first off you want to browse the side so uh, which you want to scan there are two options you can use your normal like you know chrome or firefox browser or you can use the one which is natively available here so what you can do is you click on it and then as soon as you click on it it's going to open up the browser it says explore the application with this app so this browser is automatically configured to proxy via zap and to ignore certificate warnings otherwise you would have, have to uh, like you know, install the zap certificate as well as you have to configure those I usually use foxy proxy uh, add-on extension if you haven't used that check this out it's pretty convenient if you have to like you know switch between multiple proxy and on and off proxy settings the more effectively you explore your application the better zap will understand be able to attack it all right so which side we're gonna cover today uh, I, I want to cover uh, what do you call it the ultra um, this one So which site we're gonna cover today? So we're gonna cover this ultra mutual. Uh, this is uh, like you know intentional vulnerable application hosted in the uh, hosted I think by IBM if I'm not wrong. And then we can scan this website uh, without any concern. However, there is a big disclaimer like you should not be scanning the site which you do not have permission to scan. So first thing first, we are going to uh, just like you know, explore as as like you know it was wrote on the on the Firefox itself. Like the better you browse, uh, the the Zap will learn what to attack. So I'm just gonna put the credentials here. Uh, so just to make sure how the form based authentication is working. All right, and here you will see the sign off and etc. Now let's go back to Zap, and this is our application, right? And here is the request which you can see uh, this is the username and password we had passed and this is the response uh, main.jsp so first of all what you want to do is you want to spider so first of all let's like some people call it spider some crawling but yeah uh, and as long as you are okay uh, we are just going to keep everything as basic settings and here is the spidering and it's now trying to like you know get all the pages possible from the website and here you will see it will also mark this pages which are out of scope which are not related to this ultra mutual domain and it's pretty much done okay so there are total 240 urls founds and node added were 78 now next thing we want to do is we want to include this in a context so let's so context is the way Zap identifies uh, what to scan and how to scan. So here, this is our domain, right? So is there anything we want to exclude? Uh, I don't think so. So let's go into the authentication. First thing you want to change here is select form based authentication. And you need to uh, load the login form. You need to tell uh, Zap like what's the login URL here. So I'm going to select this one, which is do login, which we just saw, right? Here you need to say user ID and then password is password. And then uh, one thing, I guess it's going to be very helpful if you put this regex pattern used to identify logged out messages, right? So uh, what you can do here is perhaps when we go sign off here and then uh, let's inspect this particular 
item and then do 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 here there should be a login dot gsp okay so whenever so whenever we encounter this login dot gsp at least in the response uh, that means uh, our, our session uh, has been signed out and that's where we want zap to try and log in again so so let's go here and put that login dot gsp right then next thing we want to do is we want to add users so our username is j smith and password is this uh, you put okay add here uh, forced user we don't want to change anything here let's just make sure everything we have we, yeah unless you want to select specific technology you can do that uh, default is the one <coughs> which is the default context uh, from zap which it uses to crawl any pages okay so let's hit OK now one thing we forgot to do that is let's go here and name login demo so it just makes somewhat relevant right next thing you want to do is you want to do active scan and you want to select the user you have added and then here you can select input vectors what you want to attack the main thing is maybe policy right now we have policy uh, to like you know scan for all kind of vulnerabilities so you can see we are going to scan all of this right and I'm just going to let it be uh, just to show you that how, how it looks so let's hit the start scan and here you will you will see in all the requests that that's been sent and you, you click on it and you can also see the request and response and uh, also sometimes you'll see 200 internal server error and everything will be captured and when you click here it will also tell you which vulnerability it is testing uh, how many requests were sent for this vulnerability you can also like you know change skip this active scanner and, and like you know jump onto something or you can obviously uh, configure the policy to only scan certain vulnerabilities so it has all the uh, data here it's gonna take a while so let me pause the video and I'll come back when this is finished so the scan is completed and we can see how long it took like you know each scan it or each vulnerability or each plugin to be scanned and how many requests were sent overall it took 15 minutes however I had to like you know just cancel out the last six tests uh, as you can see here just to save some time but I, anyway that doesn't affect uh, how the authentication works and and what we want to achieve from this session so once this is done uh, what you can do is uh, you want to make sure uh, the application was actually be able to like you know log in and, and scan all the authenticated pages otherwise the results is not something you want to rely on uh, one thing you can do is you can log into this uh, like you know uh, website and then traverse any any post authenticated pages and make sure that uh, that pages are listed here so for example this one right within the bank as you can see in the URL it's bank then slash show account uh, and then list the account number so when you when you go back into this app you want to see the same request uh, here you can see uh, not just this one I, it was just a sample one but you can uh, just check any of this and this is the best way to verify the other best way to verify if there was any vulnerability which was identified in the post authenticated pages and then obviously uh, the like you know authentication works here you can also see uh, various uh, messages here uh, whether it's like an authentication was successful or not so there are many ways to do it uh, here uh, and just to give you a brief idea on how the vulnerabilities are stacked so here when you click on it it will tell you what's the payload what's the uh, like in a parameter which is vulnerable and then you can obviously also add tags and then uh, severity you can change everything before you export this result to HTML or some other format uh, but yeah our, our focus was on the how the authentication is uh, working 
so today we cover this part of authentication right form based there are many uh, other part which is http and tlm manual script based and json based authentication so uh, next time we will cover one of this uh, just so i i, I want to make sure like you guys know exactly how to scan every type of application because not everyone every time form based authentication will work uh, as simple as this uh, so yeah, we'll cover that in the future session. If you like this uh, content, please hit the thumbs up button, leave your feedback uh, so I know exactly what kind of content you're looking for. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.